This is MathGuide.com, and my name is Mark Karadimos. So, you want to learn about reference angles? Great, you're in the right spot. See, if you don't know about reference angles, you're not going to be able to evaluate trigonometric functions by hand. Okay, and sometimes you're going to have to do that in a trigonometry class or a geometry class or a number of different classes, pre-calculus, college algebra. All right, so how do you do it? Well, first of all, as a little bit of a review, you start by graphing angles um, using this kind of a setup. In other words, a zero degree angle is going to face you directly east in the coordinate plane. Okay, so that's a zero degree angle. And you'll notice that when I um, am making an angle, it's almost like you have a pointer. So it's where this ray is pointing is the angle. Um, what's a 60 degree angle? Okay, well a 60 degree angle is, well if you start over here at zero, and is it's as if your um, beginning point of the ray is fixed here at the origin, you spin that ray. Okay, so in other words, this is a 60 degree angle. Yes, I'm really talking about this right here being the angle itself, but I'm, I'm pointing at 60, and there I've spun from zero to 60. There's your 60 degree angle. Um, what's a 210 degree angle? Yep, you can go greater than 180. So you rotate, you start at zero and you rotate around to 210 and therefore there is your 210 degree angle. It's all of this, okay? It's all of that and you're pointing at 210. So it's a big angle, greater than 180. All right, now let's now talk about specifically what a reference angle is. See, now that we know how to graph an angle, we'll talk about this reference angle. Well, the definition that I like to use um, is more like an explanation is it's the closest angle to the x-axis. The closest angle to the x-axis. All right, so let's say you're talking about a 120 degree angle. So you go over here, you're pointing at 120 or close to 120 there. So let's say that's a 120 degree angle. So now what you want to do is figure out, well, what is the closest angle to the x-axis? Well, um, that's the y-axis. Don't care about that at the moment. Here's the x-axis. And so the closest angle would be right here. Okay, that angle right there. So going from 120 to 180, that's 60 degrees. So I would say a 60 degree angle is the reference angle for a 120 degree angle. So let's say that we wanted to graph a 300 degree angle. All right, I'm gonna get a little technical now with some terminology. Well, the initial side of the angle or our starting point is always going to be at zero, always for standard trigonometric angles. And then you rotate so that the terminal side lands at the place that you're looking for. So in other words, I'm looking for 300, right? So you start at zero you rotate around and you go bam oop a little shaky okay and then here you go here's 300 degrees so i'm pointing right over there okay so that's a huge 300 degree angle greater than 180 greater than 270 it's over there in the fourth quadrant so now i want to know what is the reference angle okay well the reference angle is the closest angle to the x-axis so not going this way that's not the closest angle. So the reference angle will always be 90 degrees or less. Okay, so here I would say the closest angle is right over here. Okay, so what is that? Well, 300 to 360, that's another 60 degree reference angle. So let's choose an angle in the first quadrant. Let's say we choose an angle like 43 degrees. So 43 degrees would be over here approximately. So that's our terminal side of the angle. So I want to know now what is the reference angle? Well the reference angle is the closest angle to the x-axis right there. So it's a 43 degree reference angle. See there in the first quadrant the angle and the reference angle are the same. All right so let's try another angle like 270 degrees. So let's say we wanted to graph it. So your initial side will be at zero. You're going to rotate around until you get to 270. There you go, we are at 270. And now you're pointing straight down to 270 degrees. So now what's the reference angle? Well, the reference angle is the closest angle to the x-axis. So either I go right or left, 
either I go clockwise or counterclockwise and it doesn't matter it's going to be 90 degrees and this is where you could start uh, uh, looking at the angle and subtracting angles to get this either you take 360 minus 270 or you take 270 minus 180 so just look at which angle you want to go to and um, as long as the reference angle is 90 degrees or less I think you've got this all right have a great day Come back to MathGuide.com for more interactive quizzes, instructional videos, and tons of lessons. Over 200. Take care. Man, all the spinning around got me dizzy.